time, like I said, around the time when I first met MC Breed, and it's definitely bad for his passing too. It's like a black cloud over Detroit hip hop. A lot of the cats that I met that I came up with them passed on. But um, I first met Breed around the time when he had the Let's Go to the Club record come out, and he was like real humble. He was a real cool dude. Um, you know, I think he struggled with a lot of different things, but. You know, when he had that Let's Go to the Club record, it's like, I didn't really take it so for real because I remember when he first recorded it and he was like doing it um, at the uh, Sigma Plaza. And this is like, you know, you see it and you be like, man, this dude washed up, you know what I'm saying? And then the next thing you know, that song hit the radio and they was playing it back to 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 back. And then this dude was flying out to Arizona. He was going down to Toledo. He was going everywhere, right? And it was like, damn, Breeze is like a real rapper. You know what I'm saying? It was like the first real rapper that I knew. And it's like, I knew this dude. It wasn't like I knew him. It was like, I knew him. Like, Breeze would see me in the streets and he'd be like, what up, though? And this is one of them times where he saw me in the streets. It was like the African World Festival in 2000 and... 2000, the African World Festival, year 2000. Breed happened to be down there, right? And um, and we walking down Jefferson. And Breed like, what up, son? I'm like, what up, though? And he's just like telling me to keep focused and stuff. And this is like, I, I, all I'm seeing is like this dude flying around, going place to place, and like just the dream become a reality with this rap, with this rap music thing. It was definitely something real powerful. It was like all types of, it, it, it just like for 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 being. 18 years old to look at Bree, like, it's like Asian women, white women, Arab women, black women, young, old, white dudes, um, like all these different types of people just stopping him in the street like, Bree, I love you, you know what I'm saying? It kind of, it kind of really made this rap thing real, real, though I have a whole new perspective of it now, but that was one, another one of the big homies that like definitely like kind of steered me through at a younger age and told me to like, yo, you gotta get ready on your chops, you gotta get better, you gotta get in the studio, you gotta make a product, you gotta give the people what they want and always have a good show. Which kind of